But if, like me, you've got a ripped gator on your C-Max uh, gear stick, what you do to get it off, you prise off, get a screwdriver underneath this area here, prise it up, and this whole section, this is the titanium, so it's got this metal piece um, of trim, but if you've got a plastic one, same difference. It's got little clips underneath to each side. Once you get it off, you can then rotate the whole thing like so to unscrew the gear knob. That's what's underneath with the nice thread. And here we have somehow that all connects up nicely. I suspect it's probably uh, secured underneath that extra piece of trim around the edge. So I've now got to try and get the whole thing off. Okay, first of all, you take this piece off. I've got a clue how. You had little little lugs on it just there see that little lug just there you've got those all the way around and you use those uh, to take this piece off now we're down to just this piece so that's obviously been secured by staples there so I don't quite know how I'm going to get staples back into it but I've also got to get this outer piece off uh, just here and just over here, this side and at the back here we've got more lugs so I'm assuming that these are going to come it off did, and that will take I this suspected had. piece off. Quite easily that came off. Now as you can see that has been stapled all the way around. So I've got to reduce, release, release even those staples. And then luckily I do have an electric stapler. So I should be able to get the new one back on. I don't know yet how it fits onto the actual gear knob itself. Uh, first of all I'm going to take this off of here. And get the new one on. As you can see there's, that's where it's worn. Oh no, that's not the hole, that's where it's worn that side, but there's also a hole up here, which I really didn't like. That's why I'm changing it. So right, I've got to take those staples out, take this little surround off, and then we've got to try and get the gear knob. As you can see, I'm bending it really using a pair of uh, pincher, whatever you call them, pliers, long nose pliers, to straighten up the, the prongs of the staples. And I've, actually, I've, got, I've got one out so far, and I'm just going around now undoing all the staples from the other side and then I should pull them all out. Prize them out with pain. I have actually broken it in two places but I can super glue it back together and I think uh, once it's once it's all stapled back together it'll be fine. I managed to figure out how to get the actual gear knob off. Um, I couldn't show you because I can't hold the camera and do it uh, and it was a bit of a fluke really. So what you've got here is you've got this thing which fits over there over the old one and it sort of clicks into position on a little lug. If you get a pair of mole grips, grip that out a bit and then turn the gear stick, eventually it pops off. Um, I've just tried to get a new one back on and I can't get it back on, but I think it's just a bit tight. So it's just a bit of perseverance. Okay, needed. there we go. It's all, in, it's all done. It's all put back together. It's not stapled in so many places and the staples are nowhere near as neat as they were on the original. But it's all held in place perfectly securely. And if you remember, I broke the surround um, it appears to have stitched back together reasonably uh, reasonably well, even though I've not glued it. It all seems to be in place, so I'm hoping it will all clip back uh, onto the other part now. But the way I did this, with an electric stapler, you need to get the pressure um, behind the, the plastic side. So what I've done is I, I've got a hammer, and the, end, the soft end of a hammer, the handle end of a hammer, I've pushed this against that, and then use the electric stapler um, the staples have then been straight coming through because they've stuck into the handle so when I've pulled the handle off they're just sticking out straight so then I've used a pair of the same pinchers those same pinchers uh, just to flatten them off so it seems pretty secure hopefully as I say when I put it all back together um, it will remain secure I'm now going to put that put uh, that piece back on, on onto here but it's not on very well um, you can actually see a bit of a staple there as well because it's secured by lugs which that one's come off already um, and because it's broken I think I'm gonna have to get a new piece of plastic black plastic surround because um, it's not holding it properly in place because of that so I'm gonna go down to I'm gonna put it back on but I'm gonna go to a Ford dealers and, and get a new piece of that uh, which is a bit annoying but uh, one of those things so I'm going to stick it back on. So if you break that, you're probably going to need a new one. Mine's broken there and there. They do sort of line up, but because you've got these lugs that just sort of sit over this silver piece all the way around, 
and it doesn't hold them in place very well when it's broken. So the moral of this story is don't break the black plastic. But I'm going to put it all wet together and then I'm going to go to my local Ford dealers uh, or phone them up, see if they've got one. It's all pushed back into position. And you know what? I don't think I'm actually going to bother getting the new piece of plastic because it actually looks okay. Um, oh, I don't know, maybe. As long as it don't... <laughs> I might get a piece if I can get a bit because um, it doesn't hold it properly in place. But if you don't mess around pressing it, um, it's actually okay. Probably a bit of super glue under there and it'd be fine, to be honest. Um, but I suppose for what it costs, I say for what it costs, don't know how much it's going to cost yet. No, in fold, probably 30 quid. We'll see anyway, but it's all back on. It all looks nice, there's no holes in it. So, apart from the uh, the little bit of a faux pas breaking it, it all seals around there nicely. You can't see any of the staples. That's it. Job done. That's how you do, or not do, a new gear. Gator.